out my Pete's Garage. Now, if you're looking to do some more advanced diagnostics on your car rather than the regular code reader and erase codes, this is a, the MD805 from Autel. You can find it at autelltech.com. Now, this is a really neat code reader. It comes in this great carrying pack, and um, it's fully programmable, fully updatable with software. So not only can you plug it into the uh, ECU or your OBD2 system, there's a memory card that goes in here so it memorizes all these things that you store. And then it has a USB slot so that you can hook it up to your computer and download the most current software or the current diagnostic tools for whatever vehicle you're working on. Really cool. Comes in a carrying case, comes with a bunch of cables. Let me show you how it works. The cool thing about this unit is the cable that comes separate from the unit, you can plug it right into your OBD2 slot. And when you plug this into the unit and tighten these up, the unit starts right away. It starts right up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the key on. Actually, I'm going to start the vehicle. I'm going to start it right up. Now, these are the options we have. You can scan your entire OBD2 system. You can look at your electric parking brake if you have one of those. Or you can tell it to scan your entire vehicle. When it scans the entire vehicle, it's going to look at all the systems. It's going to look at your airbag system. You can look at your climate control system. You can look at your radio. You can even look at your uh, your uh, anti-lock brakes if it pertain as it pertains to the traction control. So if you have a traction control system, you can look at why that might be malfunctioning. You also can reset your oil service light if you have an oil service monitoring system on your vehicle. Uh, there's a setup for setting up for English or metric, etc depending on what country you're in, and then there's playback. You have the ability on this thing to record what's going on from live data and then play it back, which is pretty neat. But I'm just going to select my OBD2 thing, and we're going to go in here right now. It's going to link to the vehicle, and it's going to read all of my OBD2 data. And it takes a little bit of time, but it tells me that I have one code found. Uh, it tells me that my monitors uh, are okay, nine of them. And what I can do is I'm just going to hit OK, and now I can go in and look at the module itself and there are tons of uh, options on a diagnostic menu. I can look at the system status, I can read codes, erase codes, get live data, I can freeze frame, uh, IM readiness. The uh, O2 monitor test is really cool because you can go and look at what how the O2 sensors are functioning. The uh, onboard monitor test, if you want to select components, vehicle info, modules present. Now this is the other cool thing, you can look up the DTC code, if you have a specific code, you can type it in there and you can tell, uh, show what the code is and it'll tell you exactly why that code is appearing and what might be wrong with the vehicle. So I'm just going to go back here and the thing that's really neat here, if I go to the, uh, if I go and hit live data, it's going to start to pull all the live data that is being fed to the uh, ECU while the vehicle is running. You can choose either a complete list or a custom list, but I'll just go for a complete list. And as you go through this, it tells you everything about the uh, the engine, how it's running, uh, the warm-up, the uh, fuel pressure, distributor, uh, all the voltages from all the stuff that's going on inside the engine. It'll tell you the uh, distributor timing, everything you need to know about the engine in order to know how it's monitoring, which is really pretty cool. Uh, and there are many, many menus in here. It would take forever to go through, but I'm just going to—I was just trying to show you that this thing is extremely versatile, and it does far more than just your average code reader and your average code reset unit that for 25 bucks. So this is a lot more advanced. So if you're looking to get more detailed information out of your ECU and you don't want to go down to the dealer and get charged $100 to, to give you an answer why you might have an error indication or a trouble light is on, this thing will do it. Now after you've done your diagnostic and you've recorded all the data you needed, you come and plug this in. It comes with the USB cable. You plug this in and the unit will start right up. And it's pretty easy to hook up to your computer. Once it starts, you go over to playback. You hit OK. It's going to hook up to your computer. And I open up on my desktop, I have a Autel printer. And it tells me my scan tool is already connected. And whatever was reading on my my diagnostic tool will show up here and I can hit print and I can either copy it, print it, save it, or clear it out of the computer. So it's very computer friendly and the cool thing is to have all that stuff printed out so when you go do a diagnostic you can see what was wrong. So if you're looking to do a little more advanced diagnostic on any vehicle, pick up the Maxi Diagnostic, the MD805 from Autel. Go to AutelTech.com and look at all the things this can do and all the other products they offer. A lot of neat stuff they have. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.